Hawaii Zoing Scoop, look, it's Black Shaggy. How come your grandma woman access to your villa? I watched the first two episodes of Velma, and my goodness, uh, let's get into it. I saw you eat a fry out of the vacuum cleaner last week, so spare me, I've had a long day. Number one, the animation is fine and shines really well when Velma is having a panic attacks. Lovely stuff. Number two, Shaggy is still likable. Like he runs a snack review channel and has a loyal fan base who even helped him take down a dangerous criminal and he then gave them the $500 reward money. Number three, the mystery has my curiosity. And number four, a scene made me exhale sharply. Is that true? I'm a big boy, a big boy who could have removed those dumb girls' brains no problem if I wanted to. <gasps> here, here. And now for the other 98% of the Velma. <laughs> the show comes off as someone's fan fiction where they're taking out their anger on their bullies and it feels angry. Velma's interactions with Fred and Daphne are just hostile. You feel like you walked into a generational feud and when the show gives you more information about why this thing has been raging on for millennia, you feel like both parties involved should just be thrown in the pit and gone with. The show itself is so divorced from the Scooby-Doo IP that you'd be forgiven to calling it the Eno Show. Eno standing for in name only. Scooby the dog has been entirely axed from the show in an attempt to differentiate it from the more family friendly property. Okay, but I have to ask, if you're gonna go for raunchy adult comedy, you might wanna deal dial it back when you start showing 15 year olds naked. The basic premise of the show is Velma's trying to solve a mystery of who keeps icing her classmates and stealing their brains, while also trying to figure out why her mother left her and her father. Truth be told, the real mystery is why she stuck around for so long, because they are terrible people. Velma in particular. I keep saying the same thing, because it's true. Daphne is a drug dealer here, go figure. Fred is a prepubescent man baby who can't do jack all by himself except cut off some kid's leg with that paper guillotine thing, but that's something else. And Shaggy is not Shaggy, but goes by his real name, Norville Roger. We can make that the third mystery of this show. Why the hell is he not shag? Also, a big issue with the show, how dare you? Remember the mystery machine and the other catchphrases such as Jinx, Zoinks, and so on and so forth? Well, they are there, but they're reduced to drugs. Because you'll need drugs to continue this show from this point on. Everybody's an idiot except for me. This show is just hostile to both new and old audiences and it leaves you with the question, who was this made for? Because it clearly wasn't made for us. Maybe it was used to torture war criminals. I know I've been torturing myself to try and figure this thing out. If you want to watch something, go watch like Mike Tyson Mysteries or Mystery Incorporated. Honestly, I really hope that the show just does better from now on. I, I really want it to be better because I don't want to watch something out of hate. But I'm not going to rant. I'm not going to hate watch. I'm going to watch, hopefully. And what do you guys think? Have you guys seen it? What did you think? Comment in the comment section. Tell me what you thought. Then before you leave, do all the YouTube things like subscribe. And I'll come back with something better, something a little more fun. This has been El Red Boy. Go get yourself a biscuit, get some tea, and I'll see you next time.